Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for choosing to watch this video today. Today I'm going to unbox a bag from Ferragamo that I thought you would be interested into the details and how it would sit on you and what would fit in it and that kind of things. I don't, I, I have ordered three bags from Ferragamo. I am not intending so far without seeing them to keep any. Uh, this is just to show you guys uh, how what is the texture, how does it look like, how does it feel, how does it sit on your body, what fits in it, and at the end, what do I think comparing to, you know, the other bags that they are luxurious and Ferragamo is basically mid-luxurious. Most of the bags from Ferragamo are around 4, 5, 6K, uh, but I try to find three of them that they are... Uh, one of them is a thousand, one is two thousand, like that's the range of, uh, and I think one is like 2,500. So that's kind of the, almost at the low kind of range of their prices. Uh, but let's see how they are and hopefully you like them. Uh, I have had their leather uh, products before. They're good. It's a nice Italian brand and uh, it's just about when i have four or five thousand dollars do i want to like this sweater was fifty five hundred dollars when i have fifty five hundred dollars do want to get a sweater from chanel or do i want to get a nice bag from ferragamo it all comes down to your personal preferences what do you have in your collection what do you do not have in your collection so it's all up to that down to that okay so i'm just gonna open this Okay, lovely so this is a buckle bag that I may keep this and I have my own reasons uh, when I was doing this for Tory Burch that's the other brand that it's cheaper than this one is like less than thousand underrated in my opinion um, I was talking about why I don't own any buckle bag and I would love to own one so uh, the reason I never owned any was because they're always too chunky over here and they're kind of like bumpy on my hip and i feel like i'm hitting people constantly uh and they also just have one compartment so you have to look like for half an hour for your you know i don't know like uh i don't know whatever you put in your bag <laughs> anyways let's just start okay so italian 100 percent leather uh it's uh all grain texture which is like the caviar from uh, Chanel, uh, more resistant to uh, scratches and, you know, marks and that kind of things. It does have four studs or feet. That's the other difference between this one and the Tory Burch one. So there are differences in very small details that you wouldn't know until you get involved into it. So when I have fights with my sister that she would say, I don't care, whatever. Well, I'm like, well, if I was spending that much money, I don't want to have problems after one or two years. And she's like, I don't want to spend that much money. And I like to change my bag every two years. So again, it all goes down to what, how do you look at it? What's your perspective? So four stars or legs down here. Lovely. That's this, I think they call it, Gancini or Gancini, sorry, I don't know Italian. One of those that it's, uh, I have a belt and a pair of boots from Ferragamo. I will put them together to see if they would look good together or it would be too much in your face. And uh, this is the fascinating, the, let me just see. That's a bit. I destroyed it this is a draw well this is uh it kind of closes up with drawstring fastening um yeah this is not very secure that toy birch one was more secure okay well it is okay it is secure it's a bit okay it's smoother going in and out because it's letter against letter you can tell the Tory Burch one was metal against leather, so it was a bit stiff. But when it closes, 
it's secure. It doesn't open up easy. And then you just pull this back and it like it's still all the way back and it's still not open. So the Tory Burch one kind of was hard to close and it would easily open up. That's another difference. And uh, so that's that um, shoulder strap, which um, yes, it is adjustable. Uh, the strap is very, very soft, same material of the bag and uh, adjustable. I will wear it on and see. I like it and I think I'll take it because I don't have any buckle bag and um, Chanel buckle bags are now um, over $10,000 and they are much smaller. They're like this big, like you can put your, I don't know, like your clinics in it. I don't know like what would fit in that, but they're really non-practical so i don't see a reason to get something that is not practical even for free and uh dior just came up with a couple of buckle bags but they are so smashed they are they don't have any structure because it's lamiskin it's so soft it kind of falls on each other i tried two of them i didn't like it but um so far i'm liking this one so let's just open up and see what fits in it it's one compartment i believe like most of the buckle bags i don't know if zomoni that website sells anything for buckle bags you can see this starts from here well actually it does have compartments it does have like two for more like lipsticks I'll take a close-up video and it has one that is more for I don't know cards or um, a key something like that it's quite a spacious and let me see what happens to this okay so the the water bottle almost fits in it in the Tory Burch you can see you could have seen this much of the water bottle so it's a bit more spacious and uh, I like how smooth is this opening and closing and um, and this is where this has been embossed and uh, obviously the inside is suede just like their boots and you can see Ferragamo and their reference number over there inside in it too i will take a close up so you would see better what i'm seeing <laughs> and then i will wear it on and uh show you how it is i have got this one in another color too it's like a beige-ish color i'm gonna open that one now too because i don't know which one to pick to go all black or let me see what you guys think of yeah let me know what you think so this is more of a yeah i think i like this one better let me just put these next together So this is the other color. I have to kind of maybe just take, can I take one part out so you guys would have an... Well, I, I just have to cut the whole thing anyway so, so you guys would see how it looks on me and I also want to most likely get one of them. So they're identical, the difference is just the color and yeah this one it smells more like leather i don't know why um the the black one is softer than this one if it makes any sense 
this one is a bit more structured. Let me empty it. And but the black one is softer. Yeah, same thing. A uh, couple of flaps here. Very small uh, flaps. Nothing too like you can give them something spacious to be in. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this color, the beige color or whatever you want to call it, is a bit more structured than this one. And I don't know why they're the same model, uh, same studs and everything. This one seems to get dirty a bit easier. Um, something I don't like. Um, for And I don't like the fact that you can see these black things around this parts as well you know this part yeah so to me i would go with the black and i would put it on so you guys can help me to pick the right one that looks better on me what which one would you think that is the better one or this one is obviously more summery uh and uh you know lighter colors this one is black versatile goes with everything but at the end, I like how this is so soft and this one is a bit bulky and, you know, structured and, you know, against my body. Maybe that would not be very uh, something nice to have. And the color is a bit too bright. And I'm afraid that maybe doing this in and out a lot, these parts will start to uh kind of wear off i don't know i never had a I, I never had one i never owned any so i can't talk for this specific bag but uh yeah let me know what you think and i will add videos at the end of this video about clothes shots and uh i would wear them see how they look on me i will try to uh, match them with uh the matching belt and boots too uh but that's it for today thank you so much for watching and uh hopefully you enjoyed this video uh take care and goodbye until the next video